Good morning, everyone. How are you today? You're good. You're fine. Mm, that's great. Because today, I'm expecting you to perform good and fine for our activities. Should I expect that? Very good. I love that. Anyway, yesterday, I messaged in our group chat to prepare the materials, mostly your activity notebook for our activity for today. Did you prepare for it? Very good, very good. I like that. So, hindi na ako magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Let's start. Activity number one. The title of activity one is Starlight, Star Bright, Color Me with Light and Bright. Wow, napagandang title yan. And the purpose of this uh, activity is for me to know if you have really learned on our past lesson about stars. Are you excited? Very good. So here is the direction. Draw four stars in your activity notebook and label it with A, B, C, and D. Where the color of the star A is red, B is yellow, C is white, and D is blue. Use the crayon to color the stars and answer the following questions. You have three minutes to finish drawing the four stars and color it. Your timer starts now. Are you done, class? Very good. So let's start answering question number one. Which star is the hottest? Yes, David. Oh, letter D? Let us see if your answer is correct. Yes, you are correct, David. Congratulations. Let's proceed to question number two. Which star is very similar to our sun? Yes, Catherine. B, let us see if your answer is correct. You are correct, Catherine. Congratulations. And let us proceed to question number three. Which star is the coolest? Yes, Abner. Letter A, let us see if your answer is correct. You got it correctly, Abner. Congratulations. The answer is letter A. Ayan. Congratulations, everyone. Who got perfect? Oh, everyone got perfect. Oh, that's good. That's good, everyone. That means that you have really learned with our lesson yesterday. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats yourself. Congrats yourself. Okay, very good. So let's continue to the next activity. Activity 2, Guess and Reveal. Directions. Reveal the world by identifying the corresponding letters of the given numbers in each box. Write the letter inside the box provided below and write a short description about it. Okay? So here is the activity that you are going to accomplish. Okay? What did you say on the screen class? Yes, there are letters and numbers. Okay? Then we have there below the word that you are going to um, reveal after doing this activity in your english subject did your teacher tell you how many letters are there in english alphabet mm, yes your teacher is correct that is 26 letters okay in the english alphabet as you can see in the screen the letters is represented into numbers from 1 to 26 okay do you know how to count numbers? Did your mathematics teacher teach you how to count the numbers? Really? So let's start counting these numbers from 1 to 26. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 
26. Very, very good. Okay, I like that. I know that you are very excited to reveal what is this mystery word. But before that, please let us sing first the, the alphabet or English alphabet song. Okay, it's been a while that I, uh, I sing this uh, English alphabet song. Do you know how to sing it? Okay, that's good. Because in your math subject, you're also singing. Diba? In your music. Diba? Okay, so let's sing this. One, two, three, and start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone, for participating and for your very, very wonderful voice. Okay, let's start revealing this word. Who can guess this one? For the first letter. Yes, Carol. Yes, it's letter C. Okay, very good. Next. Yes, Anna. Yes, it's letter O. Very good, Anna. Congratulations. Next, Olita. Yes, it's letter N. Very good, Lita. How about the next? Yes, Judy. Oh, it's letter S. Very, very good. You got it right, Judy. How about next, uh, Chuck? Yes, it's letter T. You are correct. Very good. Next, Merce. Yes, it's letter E. Very good. Next, um, Don. Yes, it's letter L. And of course, since the same lang naman yung, ano, dalawa. Yes, L din yung uh, next na letters na hulaan. How about the next one? Um, Marilyn. Yes, it's letter A. Very good, very good. How about the next one? Um, Doris. Yes, it's letter T. Very good. The next one, Ofeb. Yes, it's letter I. Very, very good, Ofeb. Next, Bine. Yes, it's letter O. Very good. Next, oh, ikaw naman, Madel. Yes, it's letter N. Very good. Next, last, yes, Jade. Yes, it's letter S. And the master word is... Constellations! Wow! Congratulations, everyone! Give clap to yourself. Very good, very good. Now, please give a short description about the word constellations. Okay? Okay? Anyone from the group about the word constellation? Do you have any idea? A group? Yes. Related to star? Yes. In the galaxy? Yes. Yes, you have a point on that. Everyone you said about it, about constellation, is related on its meaning or definition. Because constellation is a group of stars that make an imaginary shape in the night sky. They are usually named after mythological characters, people, animals, and objects. And that is constellations. I know that you are very excited to continue for our next activity. Am I right? Okay, but before that one, you should know about the most essential learning and the specific objective in our lesson for today. The learners should be able to infer that the arrangement of stars in a group or constellation does not change. Specific objective identify and recognize the name of constellation second explain why some constellations are not seen at certain months the last one give the importance how early people use the constellation so i do hope that you are going to learn this after our class for today okay so let's proceed for our next activity Activity number three, search for a group of stars. Directions, search and encircle the name of constellations which are found in the word bang 
from the pull of letters below. I think you can see that in the screen, the scrambled letters in the box. Then, in below, there are words that you are going to identify from the scrambled letters above. Are you ready? Okay, so let's start with the Polaris. Who among you can find the Polaris? Yes, Arthur. Oh yes, it is vertical and the Polaris is there. Okay, very good. You find it, Arthur. How about the Cancer? Yes, Risa. Oh, where is the Cancer now, Risa? Find it. Okay, yes, correct. It is horizontal near to the Polaris in between. Ayan, you can see that. Very good. Very good, uh, Risa. Next, um, uh, Bibi, where is the Scorpius? Yes, you're correct, um, Bibi. It is in a horizontal position uh, near also in the word Polaris. Very good, very good. You find it, um, Bibi. Next, word, uh, detail. Where is the Aquarius? Oh, from the last part. It is in vertical position. Correct, correct. You got it correct, Dieter. How about you, Jister? Where is the Orion? Oh, yes. It is in a horizontal uh, position in the left side part. Very good, Jister. You see it. Next, how about the Sagittarius? Yes, Kyle. Oh, you are correct. It is uh, in vertical position. Uh, near to the word Orion. Very good, very good. You got it correct, Kyle. How about you, Clyde? Where is Gemini? Yes, it is in horizontal position. You are correct for that. Next, yes, Myris. Where is the Persos? Yes, you are correct. It is in horizontal position uh, connected to the word Sagittarius, the R. Very good. You find it, Myris. Next, how about the Taurus? Where is it? Gino. Huh? Yes, it is below to the word uh, Persos. It is also in horizontal um, position. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, Gino. How about the last one? Leo. General Ray. Yes, it is uh, in uh, horizontal position in the lower part. Uh, or near part of the word Sagittarius. And congratulations everyone, you have found the words in the word bank, in the scrambled letters above. Very good, very congratulations. Before I proceed to the next activity, I would like to share something about the Polaris or known as Northern Star. Before, if you're going to go back in our history, in your history subject, sa mga kapwa natin tao na naglalakbay sa karagatan. Ang Polaris is serve as navigator ng mga manlalakbay noon because wala pang compass eh. Okay? And since the Polaris is sa mostly constant in the night sky, so the manlalakbay or manlalayag noon can easily determine na Itong Polaris is pointing to north. So if your place is located into eastern part or western part or southern part, then you can easily determine. So just face the Polaris and you will know where is the east, west, and south. Okay? So that's it. So let us proceed to the next activity. Activity number four. Scrambled constellations. Direction. Arrange the scrambled letters to form the constellation names and identify the season of the year. One can see the constellation prominently. Winter, spring, summer, or autumn. Write your answer on the blank provided. In your screen, you can see the scrambled words. There are two blanks where you are going to uh, put the correct word from the scramble word and what season it is appear in the night sky okay let's start with number one yes andrea yes you're correct it's leo so what season where we can see this leo constellation yes you're correct spring very good next 
Yes. Um, Bakay. Oh, yes, you're correct. It's Gemini. And what's his son? Winter. Very good, very good. Bakay. Next. Yes, Geraldine. Yes, it is Canis Major. What's his son? Winter. Very good, very good. Thank you so much, Geraldine. Next, Angela. Yes, you are correct. It's Cancer. And what's his son? Yes, you are correct. Spring. Very good. Ah, huh? Angela. Next, Benudin. Yes, you are correct. Benudin, it's Persos. What's his son? Yes, it's Autumn. Very good. Next, yes, um, Charlize. Correct, it's Pegasus. What a uh, season. The same, Autumn. Very good, uh, Charlize. Next, Tristan. Correct, it's Boots. What is the season where you can see this? Spring. Very good. Next. Oh, Andro. Yes, that is correct. Eridanus. What season? You can see this. Summer. Hmm. Ah, panahong ang sarap. Maligo sa beach. Diba? Basta sa summer. Ayan. Next is, yes, um, Arturo. Yes, it's Sitos. What season? Yes, it's summer. Very good. The last one. Yes, Kylie. Yes, it's Scorpius. What season you can see this? Okay, summer. Very, very good. Huh? Very, very good. And congratulations everyone for identifying the words. And of course, the season where we can see this constellation. So, from the winter constellation, they are best seen in December, January, and February. So, <clears> tiglamig <throat> to. Huh? They include Orion, Canis Major, Gemini, Taurus, and Eridanus, to name a few. So, as you can see, mostly pag December, uh, we feel the cold. Diba? Gaya ng pagmamahal niya sa'yo, ang cold. <laughs> Next, um, we have Spring Constellation. Uh, spring constellations are those that are seen during March, April, and May. So constellations such as Leo, Cancer, Boots, and Aquarius may be seen during these months. Okay, so that's it. Next, we have summer constellation. Mm. Summer constellation are best observed in the months of June. July and August. It includes Scorpius, Sagittarius, Cetus, and Eridanus. Okay. Next one is the constellation observed during September, October, and November are considered as the autumn constellation. Stars of Andromeda, Ursus, and Pegasus are best seen during this month. And anyway, before I continue, I would like to share this very important information to you from our history because maybe many of you do not know about this one. But before, since we don't have calendars, TV, or radio that will inform uh, kung kailan ang taginet at tagulan before, so yung mga farmers is looking to the sky every night. Like for example, if they see the Scorpius, in the night sky, Scorpius constellation. That means summer yan. So it's not good to plant. Okay? So if ever they say Leo, that's a good time to plant um, uh, crops and etc. Na pwede pa nilang itanim. So yan, sa constellation nagbabase ang mga farmers natin noon sa kanilang pagtatanim ng mga gulay, halaman, uh, palay at iba pa. Okay? So, huwag niyong kalimutan yan. Huwag niyong kalimutan yung mga ganyang history. Okay? Sobrang nakakatulong ang constellation noon. Kaysa ngayon. Kasi marami, may, may TV na eh. May radio na. May cell phone na. So, easy na nating maalalaman kung kailan yung tinginit at saka yung tingulan. Tama? So, yun. And that's it for today. Have you enjoyed with our activities? Oh, that's good to know. Thank you so much. 
and I believe that you have learned a lot from our lesson for today. And before we end our uh, class for today, we will have first our assessment. Please prepare your activity notebook, number it 1 to 5. This is your assessment for today. Are you ready? Okay, very good. Number 1. What do you call of a group of stars that form a pattern when seen from Earth? Okay? Be honest, ha? You are going to check that one. Be honest to yourself. What is your answer, number one, Karen? Yes, it's letter B. Very good. Okay? Did you got, got it correctly? Very good. So let us proceed to number two. What months were summer constellation are best observed? A. December, January, and February. B. March, April, and May. C. June, July, and August. D. September, October, and November. So please write your answer. Yes, Kathy, what is your answer? Yes, letter C. Oh, check it, ha? Huh? Be honest to yourself. Okay, number three. Which of the following four seasons that you can best observe the Leo, Cancer, Boots, and Aquarius constellation? It's letter A, Spring. B, Winter. C, Summer. D, Autumn. Yes, Edward. Oh, letter A, that is correct. Okay, be honest, uh, be honest in your checking your paper, huh? Okay, number four. Which motion is mainly responsible for the change in the position of different constellations around the sun? A. Rotation of Earth on its axis. B. Rotation of different constellations around the sun. C. Revolution of Earth around the sun. Or letter D. Revolution of different constellations around the sun. What is your answer? Yes, Pat, Pat. Yes, the answer is letter B. Rotation of different constellations around the sun. Number five. Why are some stars are visible in March but not visible in September? It's letter A. This is due to Earth's rotation. B. This is due to sun's movement. Letter C. This is due to moon's revolution. Or letter D. This is due to Earth's revolution. What is your answer? Yes, Mark. Letter D. Yes, that is correct. Wow, very good. You got it right, guys. Anyone who got perfect? Oh, lahat perfect. Wow, very good. Very good. Congrats yourself. Give a hand to yourself because you have learned a lot for today. Before I leave, I would like to inform you that I already sent to our group chat uh, the instructions for your assignment that you are going to pass next week. Am I understood? Okay, goodbye everyone. God bless you.